Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk particularly about playing 16 notes in one bow. So yes, when we speed up with the fingers. And this is another common thing that I notice with uh, a, cu a couple of my students. When they play two notes per bow, so... All fine, four notes. Wonderful, eight notes. Then come 16, I ask. Do you play 16 notes? No, I can't. Or, no, uh, I didn't reach that level yet. Or, no, I'm not capable. Anyways, I'm gonna show you a way. Because yes, it is stressful, of course. There are a few aspects here that you need to think about when playing 16 notes in one bow. First of all, uh, the speed of the fingers, that stresses us out. But actually, it has not much to do with the left hand. I noticed with two of my students, when they were playing in a faster pace, their left hand was actually working very well. But the problem was the bow. So that's what I want to talk about, the bow. So when it comes to 16 notes, or I don't know, 8 notes, or the thing is that you know we are speeding up in the left hand, and with many people, it happens that they're speeding up together with uh, the, uh, the right hand. So let me show you an example, what I mean with that. So in other words, bow distribution. So the more you're spinning up with your left hand, the more you are wanting to use a faster pace. No, instead, you need to think like this. When you're playing one note per bow, two notes per bow, four notes per bow, eight notes per bow, 16, 32, the pace is all equal. Check this out. So let's say, bum, 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 bum. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, pa 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 the scales desynchronize. I don't know if this is the right word that I'm using to desynchronize, anyway, or decategorize. I don't know. English is not my mother language, so I'm so sorry if I'm talking, you know, not the right stuff. But it's very important that when you're speeding up your fingers, don't go together. Keep control, keep it cool. Then here comes the thing also. You need to know when. To change the bow because often I see when people play eight notes or 16 notes some of them they count like one two three four five six seven eight and because because by counting it doesn't help I mean maybe for some of you it can help but in general it doesn't because okay you, ha you have to think about intonation you have to think about string crossing you have to think about the beautiful sound vibrato whatever and then if you still are counting you know you're gonna have a brain fog so I don't recommend to count inside your mind, like uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I recommend you actually to do it by groups of four notes. So let's say eight notes, right? Simple scale, C major. Let's not get too deep into it. So stop and you check if you're near the middle, okay? If you did this, if you use 75%, you can start all over again because it's wrong. So you need to go until the middle, more or less, even less. Spare the beginning more bow so that you have more bow afterwards, you know, to make a nice, beautiful bow connection. But anyway, there we go. So stop, four notes. Now the next four notes. Okay, so we had a octave. So these were eight notes. So we have to change on the D. So that, then we're gonna try to connect. Okay, good, fine. Let's say that you practice this hundred times, thousand times. 
because actually the more you practice it, the more you're gonna get familiar with it. Let's say now from here, so four notes and then the rest. Okay, it's on the E that we have to change down bow. So then you connect it to one. And then you start from the beginning all over again. So, I mean, maybe it's not the ideal way to practice it, but that's the way that um, uh, my father, he was teaching me uh, this kind of way because, okay, it gets automatic in your mind. You know exactly, you know, when you're going to change, you know, up bow, down bow, up bow, down bow, and you're not going to have problem, you know, because sometimes when you play eight notes, it happens that you're going to add one more note, uh, so nine notes without willing or sometimes even 10 notes, or you missed one, um, how to say that, uh, up bow and then, okay, then it completely gets screwed up. So that was eight notes. The same thing with 16 notes. 16 notes can be a little bit more trickier, but again, with patience, time, dedication, and give it a couple of weeks, months, you'll get her. So it's important, again, by groups by four. Not so much bow. Okay, so there we have the 16 notes. Eight. Okay, and again on the E we change. So you see? And you're gonna repeat this again, 100 times, 200 times. I don't know how much you need, you know? Some people, they learn faster than others. But this is very important, that they do it by groups by four and do it very consistently. So every day when you take the cello, practice it that way, you know, reserve at least 10 minutes because I know many of you are busy adults that don't have time because okay of the daily lives, job, family and so on. But if you're going to practice, practice it like this, very efficient and not just playing through because that's what, that's what is happening often. When I assign to a student, play me scales and people have the tendency, you know, to rush through because we're living in a world of, you know, we want results immediately, but it's not like this, you know, we have to focus on the parts where it hurts the most. So anyways, that's what I wanted to uh, share with you in this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you will apply this and I hope that you will, you know, be patient with it because it requires time. You know, your arms, you know, they need to uh, get used to it. This is called, you know, muscle memory, finger memory. Anyways, you know what I mean. Apply this into your practice, give it some time and you'll be fine playing eight notes and after a while, 16 notes and you're gonna be so proud of yourself that you're finally, after you know so many sloppy years of practicing, you're gonna be able to play 16 notes in no time. Hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice one, bye-bye.